greeting you barefaced because I am going to be doing a makeup life hacks. You guys might know some of the ones I'm going to show, but I really tried to find some unique ones that you guys wouldn't have heard of. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, for the first one, please be very careful and tie your hair up. We are getting serious now, guys. This is dangerous. Please ignore the hair. I know it's definitely not the most attractive thing, but safety first. Okay, we're gonna make a plain pencil eyeliner gel, or at least have the sort of look that it's a gel eyeliner. So I'm gonna swatch it. This is what it looks like when it's the pencil. Quite, quite grey, not that black. Not as black as I would, here I am back in focus, I'd like it to be. So, to make it more gel-like, you need to get some matches and a match and then we're gonna put the match on and for literally a second hold it on top of this and then blow out okay if my house sets on fire okay here we go here here we go right leave the eyeliner to cool thank god that went all right it's really smoky in my room at the moment but you know oh well and then if we re-swatch it, let me just check it's, yeah, it's not too hot now. Here we go, time for the swatch. It's so much creamier. Literally, it's, oh my god, that's so much better. Okay, so this was swatch number one, and this is swatch number two. As you can see, this one's so much blacker. It's got like a little bobble, but we can always take that off. And it's just so thick and so creamy compared to the other one. I've kind of just realised I doubt I'm going to be putting anything on my face. Okay, I've literally just done the quickest eyebrow filling ever. Hack number two is to make an eyeshadow, blush, bronzer, anything you want more pigmented. So, take whatever eyeshadow thing you have. I've got this mini quad. Finger swatch on my hand. Where is it? Don't worry, I have you saved. Take a sharp-ish object. You can take like a toothpick. I'm just using the like one of the matches that I just used, but I'm using the back. And you want to basically scrape off the top layer. So just sort of scrape it off. And it should look like that. And then just take like, you know, something to put it in and just tap off the excess and then it should work so now I've got it here as you can see here we go there it is look at the difference like this was the original swatch you can kind of just see it and this is the new one it's amazing if your mascara is getting clumpy all you need to do is take one of these. You can literally get them from a shop for free, just any makeup stop, shop. Just kind of, you can ask one or just take one, they're all free so they won't mind. As you can see, super clumpy. And now, if I just brush it through already, you can see they're separating. Okay, and for the next hack, you can use a powder. This is just a Rimmel one. Use powder, this is Rimmel Stay Matte, and just take a brush and just um, put it on your eyelashes in between coats, and then it will make them appear so much thicker. So I've just applied a second coat and they do look thicker. It doesn't show up too much on camera. But I promise it's not a lie. I wouldn't lie to you guys. And then again, you can just separate them with your little mascara one. I've lost count of life hacks now. Ah! So the next one is again using a powder and it's how to make your lipstick appear more matte. So you want to take like a tissue and kind of rip it, I don't know, and use the um, sort of more sheer side. So I'm just taking this lipstick and I'm just going to put it on. I'm going to take the powder, put it on the brush, get quite a bit, and then put the tissue over 
And now, here's the powder. And I know it looks like it's still kind of shiny, but I promise you, it's actually like really matte. If you want to make an eyeshadow kind of pop more and look brighter, then you will just need a white sort of um, eyeliner pencil thing. This is the NYX Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil. And I'm gonna just take the Tanya Burr palette. Here's the original swatch. You can see like a little bit of gold. But here's your solution. Take your eye pencil, and obviously you'd be doing this on your eye, and just do one sort of strip, as you can see. Then take your brush or your finger in my case, this is the gold coin shade, and now put it on. And then it will pop more so you can see. Only thing is, it does take a more sort of bronzy tone. So if you don't like that, then maybe stick to that. But obviously, if you want it more pigmented and to last longer, definitely do it with the white underneath. Okay, my final life hack for all of you is a good money saving one. If you don't have the money to spend on a primer, then take a skin coloured eyeshadow, kind of like that, but slightly darker than your skin, and then sort of scrape it off like we did with the eyeshadow in the first hack, and mix it with moisturiser. I don't have time to show you now because my battery is flashing red and I've really got to go. But, yeah, mix it with moisturiser and it should come out looking like this. It will look like this inside and I'd say it's almost identical. I feel like sort of magic, like I'm reaching behind me and grabbing new things every time. But it will look almost identical to a Benefit Professional or something like that. Here they are, this is Professional and this is the one I made. It looks slightly darker but it's actually slightly lighter in real life. And they are very similar. This one's kind of more creamy, I'd say. It's definitely a good sort of quick fix of a primer to make your makeup last longer and also moisturise at the same time. So I definitely recommend it. And it does save you quite a bit of money because you can just use things you already have in your house. Okay, I'm going to go now. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I am going to be posting weekly videos. Video? Videos? Videos now. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned something new. Comment down below what your favourite hack is. Mine is definitely the eyes. Like, they are popping. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>